spot, and we have Kid Sickers playing Min Min. Kid Sickers, that is a funny name. Oh god. I, that, that is not a name I'm familiar with, and that's why I love opening up these uh, these tournaments in bracket, because you never know who you get super early on. Yeah, and you know, this is the, you know for Cloud, this could be a little bit rough. Mostly because uh, you have to watch slip in the corner, right? You don't want to jump out the corner as Cloud against Min because that can literally just be your stock for no reason. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Parry that parry that uh, down tilt and immediately up smash it to cover themselves. So neutral is going to be just a matter of how Cloud gets in. He has to, he has to force Min into a bad spot, and she's content to just hang around, you know, across the stage and do as you do, a slide going right under the megawatt. That's a nifty tool to have. A lot of characters wish they had that. Yeah, and, you know, and honestly, if I were Glenn, if, you know, Kid Sigurd is going to lay across the stage and just throw out their arms, I'm just going to charge limit. Like, why not? Right? Give, give yourself a little bit of speed boost, a little mm, bit more air mobility. A little early on the rip there. I know, I know what he was going for, but Kid Sigurd is not falling for it this time. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, Kid Sigurd isn't really overextending. Like, it's something you see from Mimmons a lot, but... Uh, just really respecting Glenn's space. But Glenn has been doing a good job at these down tilt catching Kid Sigurus's retreats. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't She's powered oh, yeah, up. Died. Every every yeah, successful BGs. throw yeah, she BGs, gets powers died. up her dragon arm. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was talking about, man. That situation has Cloud against Min Min. Like, you have to, you have to be very, very, very cautious with your recoveries. And you need to keep all your resources available because something like that could happen almost every single stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, God bless. About to say, please mind how you recover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and good early, good high recovery by Glenn and coming down with the uh -oh. hitbox. I think he was going to try and fade out and... Okay, no punish on that. Yeah. Ooh, this is... Okay. Didn't go for Ram Ram, surprisingly. I guess they, they just wanted to kill just to get them out of here. They went for the dragon shot first. Yeah, probably should have led with the Ram Ram, right? Got the two frame. And Lens is really having a hard time getting in. See, this is the thing, because because of the way how Min Min plays her game, like, okay, well, hello. You, you don't you don't play it like that. Her recovery is not the greatest. It actually got nerfed for some reason. I didn't think it needed to be, but here we uh, are. No, 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 I don't care. <laughs> when you have on stage presence like that, you deserve it. Uh, I'm not gonna disagree. Just the fact that they made it worse when it already wasn't good just amuses me. Hey, look, I'm, I, I feel like Biles de those... deserves the same treatment, but you, know, you never you didn't hear that from me. But uh, like I was saying before, <laughs> even with uh, Glenn having limit ready, Kid Sigurds doesn't have to adjust their game plan that much. Like, Cloud is faster, but you can just keep, you know, doing stuff like that, catching the bad option to get back to stage. I think yeah. that was what, neutral air dodge? Yeah, and I feel like Glenn right now isn't understanding. Ooh, Even when Kid Sickers hits his shield, not understanding what to do after Kid Sickers hits his shield. Either to block the first one, and then maybe try to parry the second one. Like, I don't think he has he has the rhythm down. And Kid Sickers is just throwing out every single hitbox imaginable. Okay, yeah. hit the golf swing, but it's gonna get the sour spot. Catch the landing. Yeah, this is a very important... He needs like, to take this right now. He needs to do this. Wow. The very, very last frame. Yeah, and that up smash actually because Sickers made them get hit yeah. by that cross slash. Maybe they're expecting a blade beam and that's why they did up smash. You never know, but... Uh, uh, maybe. Good cross slash by Glenn. But yeah, another one of those down tilts getting in. Sliding to those DMs real quick. Whoop. Okay, and mm, yeah, and too, it's a little bit too slow on that punish and that down here. Eating both of the the arms. Okay, mind your approach. Ooh, no punish coming out from Kid Sickerus. That was. All right, we're just throwing out a lot of things. I I don't know why we're not going back to the regular min min game plan and opting for dash attacks. Yeah, and I, I think I think right now Glenn is playing a, a bit more horizontal, and we're seeing more nares uh -oh. coming out from Glenn. And I think that's important, right? Like, mm -hmm. a faster forward advancing hitbox that isn't back air <laughs> or forward air, right? And I think you need to do that to invade um, Minmin's space. Ooh, that was not the greatest DI, I will say that. Yeah, he needs to watch out, man. Because he's been dropping these shields in between these arm these arm throws, so. Yes, that was a punish. I counted maybe three times. Both of them could have died for the <laughs> commitments they made. God. But ultimately... Uh, Kid Sigurus is going to take game one.
catching on a little faster than Glenn did yeah, that time. Yeah, and I, and I think yeah that first stock was really bad. That was a that was a kind of a sus early air dodge there by by uh, Glenn. But you, you, against Mim and off stage, you need to keep your resources as cloud, right? Mm -hmm. So like if you need to up B early and you have to maybe have to take a ram ram hit while okay, keeping your jump and then recover. Okay, that no. Yeah, yeah, he got he paused in oh, between the gaps. Oh, okay. Yeah, and this is that stock when he put out the up smash and God bless. All right, so if you're Glenn, where would you take Min Min? Um, I, I mean, to be honest, right, right? Like, I think the Just stage was fine, right? Oh, yeah, I think the stage is fine. But if I were him, um, maybe try to limit a bit more. Give yourself a little bit more agility so when you're in Min Min's space, you could kind of get in there a lot a lot faster, right? Right. Especially if Min is giving you space and respect. Remember when that move used to be frame seven? God bless you. Yeah. Lord of mercy. Barely <laughs> whiffing that one, though. And he hasn't been able to get good uh, ledge pressure. For, I feel like it's another difference between in the set right now. Mm -hmm. Is that Kid Cigarettes hasn't been able to start their ledge pressure, and I feel like Glenn hasn't really been able to keep Mimin in the corner. He's always letting Mimin get back to center, and he can't really pin her down at all. I feel like he could have gotten more off that, but... Yeah. State positioning is also good. And and Kitsikers just like running up to the other side of the stage and like setting up camp. Yeah, good there. All right, I like it. I like it. Yeah. I, Chop I, that shield a bit. Mm, that could have shield poke. Fair. Yeah. Oh, ooh, Nair, very yep. nice. Yep, great option coming out from Glenn. Yeah, Nair. Fast option. It's going to get, get Mimin, right? Sometimes you don't want to do something like back there. Might be a little bit too slow. Could have missed the punish, but we got Fire Fame Nair. Let's see how we can keep this pressure. Yeah, and not able to keep Mimin in the corner, man. Just letting him, letting Mimin get out the corner. Now, Glenn has the lead, so he doesn't need to force much, like, he doesn't have to really go in against Min Min. Like, at some point, she has to start approaching, you know, as as Yo, far bro. away as she can. Bro, I, I know, I know, I felt it too. Bro, you need to punish those down tilts, man. Thanks for the sub, Black Sheep. Let's go, Brian. Oh, God. Zap. Ram Ram. Yeah, and good delay recovery by Glenn. Punches right through Blapey, my god. That's yeah. that's such little priority. Yeah, and great full hop call out by Glenn, man. Um. <sighs> Faded back right at the perfect time. He's gonna. Oh man, that would have broke, broke shield. I would have laughed. I would have laughed at that hit or broke shield. Put the fear in you. Barely missing that down there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, that weak. But running a double jump early is a good thing. Kid Circus didn't catch on to that, but yeah. Right now, Glenn's playing very patient. Ooh. Finally got a back air at ledge to land, and now he's Max Range is definitely going to do it up, but so will up throw. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Min Min's up throw starts coming around 130 consistently. With no rage? I believe so. It's, oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something you don't see often because of what she's doing right now. Yeah. And Glenn needs to be careful right now, right? Already racked has 80% 80, 80 racked onto them, and Ooh, that man. big lead is pretty much evaporated. Well, stock up is stock up, but you know, you don't want to take more than you have to. Yeah. Glenn just has to remember to not see red. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, bro, just, just charge limit. <laughs> Discharge limit. Big chilling. There you go. Good, good punish. Good I wonder, if, coming up I wonder if you could have got forward smash off of that, actually. Because um, Mim Mim's up smash is very not safe. Back throw. Not going to do it yet. Let's see. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, that was rough, right? That was rough position. And maybe that's the time you maybe burn the limit. How's he going to recover? Glenn has been very good at sniping these recoveries. Okay, just like, duffed right in the Ooh, face. Ooh, and that up smash, call out. Kid Sickers is right back in this game, man. Like, literally, it's one edge guard scenario away. And now <laughs> you're in the air against no. Mimmin, and you're floating don't, in, bro. Don't, don't. Just charge, just charge, just charge, just charge, just charge, just charge, just charge. Oh, Th that's something you have to be in. That's something, like, I think players need to be more mindful of in general. Just, you don't need to hold toward them when you're, you know, coming down from being knocked up in disadvantage. Yeah, don't see red. 
Ten limit. working that time, and limit ran out. Ooh. But golf swing going to take it. Yeah, read the roller with up smash, and um, yeah, good stuff by going clutching it out because uh, yeah, man, uh, Kid Sickers is uh definitely running that back. But Let's see some of these. Yeah, good stuff by Glenn. The edge guards was probably like the biggest difference from game one. Mm -hmm. uh, got a lot more edge guards, a lot more edge pressure in this game. Uh, we actually finally saw like a back air at ledge hit. I feel like he's been trying there to ledge trap yeah. Mimmin for like all of game one and couldn't do it. And like finally got his ledge trap, finally got his back air, finally got the edge guard, right? I feel like he has a rhythm going. Mm -hmm. um, can get a little bit too overzealous though, because I feel like uh, towards the end of that game, got a little bit too aggressive and was just running into everything and almost lost that game. Yeah, that's sort of like, it's something I struggle with too, where it's like even if you have the lead, sometimes you'll go on because you just want the game to be done already. It's like, I don't feel like waiting. I don't feel like playing passive. I want this noodle character gone. Yeah, it's just like, bro, just like, get me out of here. You know? Mm, bass music selection. Man, I'm like, I got slides too. Yeah, that, was, that was a great roll read. And I feel like uh, Glenn has been finding himself in that scenario a lot where he's back airing at ledge. Min Min down tilts, whiffs, and then Min Min does something, like does question mark, and then all of a sudden Glenn, run, Glenn is on the back foot. So, so Kid Sickerus opting to bring us to small battlefield, which is just PS2, but smaller. Yeah, bro, don't, don't jump out the there, there's more to it than that, but on the surface. If I could speak up, did you guys notice the brace on Glenn's wrist? I yes. did. Interesting. Is it a handicap? Are, are you saying he's not able to put up enough back airs because of his wrist? I'm wondering if that may affect him in some way. Anyway, I'll leave it to you guys. There. Oh. That's the right idea. You know? I feel like... Wait, wait. Okay, cash out? Yeah, good punish, good punish. All right, Let's say, you all know, right. I feel like he might have been able to get a finishing touch, but I have no idea. That was, that was a great punish by Glenn either way. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, great. Yeah, great mix up by Glenn, man. Been, has been going low for the past two games. Went high that one time. Came down with a hitbox. Good patience. Don't commit to something too soon. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get stuffed in the mouth from across stage. Oh no, it's not the dash, not the dash, okay. Wow, that actually went out so far. I'm wondering why Kid Sickers is opting to keep Megawatt now when Ram Ram's like the best edge guarding of the three arms. Yeah, I mean probably just because Cloud's at high percent. And that's probably just what they're 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 banking on right now. But yeah, I, I feel like if Cloud's off the stage like that, you definitely have to do the rammer. And now now we're switching back to the Megawatt. Oh no. You need to start to get away from kid. Punish those down tilts. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Mega yeah, they're, they're both down tilt on it. each other, and I don't know why they're respecting each other's down tilts on shield. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but um, oh, I, well, actually, both their grabs are really slow. That might be part of it. Isn't isn't Cloud like frame nine? Yeah, but Cloud has up yeah the shield. This is also down true. Tilt. And Mim also has up smash has shield. Doesn't respect the down tilt. Ooh. And I'm like, who read that? And I'm yo, I'm liking this. Shut your arms off. I'm I'm liking this nair usage by Glenn Mag. We've been seeing a lot more Nair since game one, and he's been able to get Min Min off of platforms and extend some of his combos that way. That's why we start. Okay, just burn it. Good catch. Yeah. I respect it. Tail Kid Sickers is going to get back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Standard going to grab, and... and that was OD. Okay. He was at, what, 70? Yeah, and Glenn tried to stall out, and he was just like, don't stall out there like that, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go, Roll he heard you. Smash? Okay, yeah. how's he gonna get back? With and little resistance, surprisingly. Yeah, and yo, I'm not, he's been hurt by shifting against Glenn at the ledge, and I feel like, that's crazy, that's, that crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. The hurt by shifting is crazy. Okay. At this, like, at this juncture, at this low percent, Glenn is fully content to just like, you know, camp and charge limit and yep. going for kills. If it doesn't work, just <gasps> camp and charge limit some okay. more. How's he gonna get back? Blade Beam? Oh no. I was expecting a cross slash into the stage. Pretty sure that catches. Oh no. Like, good bug of all okay, temple yeah, covers. Okay, Glenn needs to chill out. 
He oh, cannot. He don't cannot. Let this get do away not jump you. at. Don't do let not, it happen to you, do brother. Not jump at Mimin, bro. You need to not jump at Mimin right now because you're gonna lose your jump and you're gonna die. <gasps> oh. Yeah, he's camping the platforms. Board, board the platforms. You need. Okay, board the platforms. Okay. I mean, not only, not only get you so far against this character, but you're right. That Nair was crazy. That Nair was clutch. That Nair was clutch. That Nair was clutch. Oh, that Nair was baby. clutch. And that's exactly why I need to get limit, right? Because because you have limit. Now you can afford to go deep out there as Cloud. Get that edge guard, and then get back safely. And the set goes to Glentendo. Yo, he clutched that out, man. I'm not gonna lie, though. He's gonna get smoked like so many times. And like he he was definitely clutching that out, man. Like especially like not like we'll see it next couple stocks, but. Like, Glenn was putting himself in harm's way m more than he arguably needed to. Yeah. But, but but I feel like, you know... The, okay, the, here we go. This, this right here. That was crazy. That way was a going, crazy call out. Stupid. Stupid. What are you doing? Stop mashing. That was a mash check. <laughs> that was a mash check. And right there. The point of impact. Yeah, stop mashing, my guy. That's what that is. Stop mashing, my guy. Boom. Yeah. But, but I feel like Glenn was trying to do that just to get some pressure on Min Min, right? Like, jumping in arm's way. But, like, that's a double-edged sword, right? You're trying to jump at Min Min and then stuffing, something like that happens. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, I died, right? Like, even if Mega Watt wasn't out, like, I'm pretty sure at that juncture, the Dragon Arm would have probably killed earlier. And, even. This is, and this is clutch. This was a clutch Nair. That was a clutch Nair, man. <laughs> no stage for you. Goodbye. Yeah, and I feel like, honestly, that was the difference. More Nair usage and more edge guarding. Mm -hmm. I feel like ever since that game one, he, he was edge guarding Min Min like crazy. That's that's really what you have to do because as we established, uh, recovery is a tether one, but it, it's very not good. You probably could say the worst tether in the game. Yeah, probably. I'd have to think yeah. about the rest of them. No, I, I mean probably, right? 